we were in downtown Las Vegas at Punk Rock Bowling. They made it, you finally made it to you made the big time. Punk I made the big bowling. time, yeah. Punk Rock Bowling is pretty cool. It's all self-contained within a four-block parameter now. And it's crazy. The Stern Brothers, who have been heavily involved in the punk community since the late 70s and brought you Youth Brigade and BYL Records, founded the Punk Rock Bowling Tournament over 17 years ago. What started out as a love for punk rock and bowling, the annual tournament has evolved into a weekend music festival, taking over downtown Las Vegas Memorial Day weekend. The Stern Brothers have now established punk rock bowling as one of the longest standing punk festivals in the country. A couple years ago when the Stern Brothers approached me, uh, we just knew it would be a perfect fit. It's kind of a cool thing they got going on down here downtown, bringing a, a music scene downtown where it was just a, ba uh, a wasteland. I feel like uh, Big Daddy Carlos did that with uh, Val and Margarita. So they kind of did the same trick here. I feel like they have a formula. We're all about historical innovation and making old classics new kings. And five years ago, you couldn't walk down this property. You're up close, you're personal. Some of the most iconic bands in punk rock are playing right there in front of your face. And you just can't put a price tag on it. Greg and I, we've been in almost all the bands, like L.A., you know, from Red Cross all the way to yeah. when I was in social distortion all the way through adolescence. You know, Circle Church, Bad Religion, it's just like, we're kind of like, we're kind of like the most important we're like, we're like, I think we're kids. We're like really, AKC right? certified pedigree. I uh, too. LA I feel proud of myself. Okay, shake your hand. I got my papers. I've got mine too. Have you ever thought that on a Walgreens would be welcome punk rock bowlers? Ever, never, ever, ever, ever. On a digital sign that's like flashing all Vegas. Yeah. Whoever said that? Whoever said that to us? Never ever. When they're all punks, get out. It's all welcome punks. We're all like, what's happened? But it's all good. And especially considering from where this all started. Yeah. Dude. There wasn't even bands at first. I know. It was like it started as punk rock bowling. It's so cool. It is cool. And then they'd have one show. Okay. Like three or four bands. And then at one hotel. And then it expanded and it kept growing and growing. In the bowling, it went from like maybe 10, 15 teams, and now they're in three different lanes, like three different different uh, bowling centers. It's crazy. There's like 100 and something, 70 teams. It's crazy. It's mind boggling. It's a ball at the camaraderie. Everybody's so grateful to be here, man. It's fun, man. Every year, dude, we have a great time. Do I see this guy once a year? Have a great fucking time, man. Bands, the booze, the people, friend, friendly people everywhere. It's awesome. It's unreal. It really is. We're a giant community. That's all we are. So the, there's still bowling intertwined in this? Yeah, there is a competition, but no, nobody nobody takes it seriously, but they okay. take it seriously. Like, yeah, we got kicked off first round. Uh, we're, we got a first round bye. It came in third place. Here I am in the third fucking round of Plunk Rock Bowling. Fuck you, Mom. Fuck you, Dad. We shit the bed. <laughs> we brought our worst game of the tournament, first game of the playoffs. Very disappointing, very disheartening. We're all pissed. I bowled with Kung Fu once. Okay. With Kung Fu Records. Right. Kung Fu Records have a team. There's costumes, there's, there's shirts. There's record labels have it, bars have it. Just normal fans have right it. On. And the great thing about punk rock and punk rock bowling is it embraces all genres under the same umbrella. For example, you can see Ministry and Bach Bay Store and see the Blasters, or Wanda Jackson and Cox Bar, from A to Z, and that's the beauty of it. A lot of good bands playing at the same time, which is total mayhem mentally for the punks, but you know, they're kind of disturbing. They do like punk hops, hopscotch. We should start that band. Well, 
the band that brought you here the I first time? I think it was Punk Rock Karaoke, and then I think the Circle Jerks might have played a gig here a long time ago, and then Bad Revision, oh, okay. eventually so too. It's all a blur. It's all a blur. <laughs> What's great is that we're creating a scene. Uh, we like to think of it as a glitzy, old-school Austin, Texas, where you can come downtown and go bar hopping, go from venue to venue, and get that intimate feel that's been so long lost on the impersonal mega resorts of Las Vegas. What, what do you feel about this, like, you know, this whole festive atmosphere? It's really cool because you know what, it's the perfect situation, the perfect medium for, you know, what punk is turning into, which is the last great wave of rock and roll, really. I mean, it seems like a lot of people are excited about the club shows. Yeah, because it's great because you get you get to mingle with the band, you get to mingle with the fans. And That's it's, right. It's, it's a good community. It is, for punk rock bowling. It's not like most large festivals. I mean, it's not right. huge, like sixty thousand people. Yeah. Coachella type of thing. You know, it's small earth. Yeah. This is. But this is cozier. This is definitely very cozier. cozier. Yeah. And the great thing about the club shows is it's almost a one-on-one -on -one experience with the band. You're in an intimate setting, and the band that you previously saw in front of 10,000 people, you can now see in front of 500 people and experience that relationship. It's like an adult fun land. I'm having fun. It's fun to be having and have fun, my friends. That's what keeps us alive. It did morph and it did kind of come from a nice, cute, little, innocent place. Oh, yeah. The love of bowling and punk rock. Yeah. And it, it's run by cool people, yeah. musicians, by musicians, right. for musicians. And that's kind of the whole punk rock ethos. My yeah. favorite thing about punk rock bowling is straight up like the fact that you're talking about there's no division between fans and bands. And Everyone's mixed up and hanging out, and we're all on the planet could like, I come to a thing one time and end up with a bunch of kids and some random people and Stormy and like Matt Freeman playing the turtle. Only in Las Vegas that punk rock bowling dude, you know what I mean? It's pretty amazing. I really, I, I love this festival and it's cool. Everywhere you walk up and down Fremont, every two seconds I run into somebody. It's like the ultimate fan fest. You walk down the street and downtown Las Vegas is taken over by 15, 20,000 punkers. I mean, who would have thought? It's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. And it's rad to watch tourists like trip out on it in the casinos and stuff. Like, yeah. what? It's just overrun by Mohawk dudes or whatever. I just like hanging out with the, with the fans and with yeah. the fans. And everybody's cool. I mean, that's the whole thing about punk rock. The, the lack of division between mm -hmm. band and crowd. That's what attracts me to it. Vegas started in downtown. What we're doing is just bringing the old classics back. It's bringing old Vegas vibe back because Vegas started bringing the entertainers to a place to gamble, have right. a good time, schmooze with the fans. Yep. It's not the rat pack, it's now it's the punk pack. A total, it's still a DIY festival, no matter how big, no, it really no, is. no matter how slick the program is. Dude, it is DIY. It's all it's all punkers building everything yeah. and putting everything together. And, and dudes from all the bands we're friends with, you know? Yeah, that's it's, a great thing about it's, it. It's pretty rad. I really, I, I love this festival. But it's great because Walking down the street, punk rock bowling, I have that moment every 10 steps. Someone I haven't seen in years. Someone else. So it's, it's, it's just so awesome. And this is the first really punk all together festival kind of in America, right. really. I mean, other people are doing it now, but when this first started, it, there weren't any other ones. But you know what the best thing is? We love you. Bye bye. Say goodbye.
Thanks for my bowling. We're the on high. We'll see you guys next time. Or not. Good night, you guys. You're great. You're great. Great game.